But sometimes when you have important site plans, you might find that the, um, you have a, a very large number of edges and the detail it's it's greater than what you you actually need. Um, what I have here is a small plan of a piece of road which I would import into a, a main terrain model but before I do that I want to clean it up um, and you select all of it and choose simplify select occurrence um, I do that it asks me for uh, a max deviation which means uh, how much the simplified curve is allowed to deviate from the original curve so 200 that's a quite low I can easily go 500 or even 1000 or 2000 millimeters um, if, if it's a really big plan and I don't need the big details of it um, once it starts it will keep running for a small while uh, while it recreates all the curves as you can see here um, it created a new set of curves and it removed 16,000 of the original edges while it still looks the same more or less you can see here it's a bit um, rough because I took um, as much as 500 millimeters, which for this plan is a bit a bit much, but you can see it's selected, it converted all the uh, continuous sets of edges into edges into curve objects, so they're easily selectable. Um, if I undo and I run the scene. Sorry, if I select it all and run it again, um, the default 200, it will um, give you um, a much, oh yeah, it's still removed nearly 15,000, but as you can see here, it, it produced much smoother curves. Uh, just because of the small variation in, in the deviation. Uh, and like that, it is, it is especially useful for site models where you import uh, lots of contours, contours from CAD uh, dark data. Like AutoCAD has a tendency to be um, highly detailed. Um, I had plans where I would start out with 170,000 edges and after running the simplify function I would end up with only uh, 13,000 and I had more than enough of the detail I needed to generate the terrain for my purpose.